And given the conversations that the Bridgestone Port and BTMI and the Ministry of Tourism and Maritime had had with the ships, it was obviously our belief that once the ship came to Barbados that the smaller taxi associations would have been given the opportunity to take on the bubble tours, the persons on board the vessels as well. Unfortunately, that was not the case. I had received a letter that had stated, uh, that was given to the guests on board the ship previously, but it was the same thinking that only uh, tours that were booked on board the ship, which would have been with the larger operators, would have been allowed to, persons, only persons going on board those tours would have been allowed to disembark. And what I meant in essence was that the persons who would normally get off and book a taxi would not be able to do so. Now that's regrettable because over the summer we'd spend a long time making sure we trained up the taxis. Uh, we made sure that most of them are vaccinated. They did the same bubble tours. So they're offering the same basic package. We spoke immediately to the line and we said it can't work. This is not what we agreed to. It is not going to happen in Barbados. It is unjust. And they accepted immediately that, you know, that they had made the previous agreement and then they sent correspondence to the line allowing the passengers to be able to take the regular taxis. We also, Minister Cummins and myself, we were on the call, the call we co-chaired it. We were also sending a letter to all the lines making it very clear where we stand in relation to this issue. I believe that this vessel proved that the conversation has worked because they, the passengers here were taking the regular um, taxis and that going forward we don't anticipate this problem. But if it arises again, then we'll deal with it again. But there's no way these vessels will be coming to Barbados and regular taxi operators, regular Barbadians don't get to benefit. The last couple of days there have been lots of discussions centered around the port and the taxi operators being able to have a fair share of the pie. But today we met with the minister, Mr. Humphrey, also the CEO of the port, Mr. John Marie, and they have assured the taxi operators in the Bridgetown port that work in terms of they would have met with the, or speak rather I should say, to the principals of the cruise lines and they have assured us that passengers will now be able to disembark the cruise lines and make their way around Barbados safely with the taxi operators. So we are very grateful that some sort of resolution have taken place and we look forward to making this industry work for each and every one, not only taxi operators, but there's an extension where we take our people to the wider parts of Barbados. So basically, we are somewhat good in terms of what was promised to us today.